Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Garrett and today I'm finally bringing you guys another video. I know it's been a super long time. I um a lot of a lot of things went on. I got a lot of health issues that happened. You guys can see the image on screen. I got an infection in my eye and it was really weird that my eyelid just like swelled up. My um, whole cheek started swelling up and it was just a really bad situation. I had to be put into the hospital for it. So I couldn't stream. I couldn't do anything. Couldn't make YouTube videos. And then after that, I started working for a couple companies and then, you know, work just started piling up. But it's the summer now, I have time to do things, so I do want to say that I'm going to be back to uploading, but um, the most thing I do want to talk about is streaming, and you guys can see right now you guys can be watching a logo I did for Axis Effects, it was a commission work so you guys can basically see what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be streaming over on Twitch.tv, I'm going to be doing like live tutorials, client works on portfolio reviews and a bunch of other things, just because I thought that Twitch would be a better um, kind of source for me to do it, with the sub button coming out for affiliates and for a bunch of other things, it's going to help me make an income as well as provide more for you guys. The whole entire video, the stream that I do on Twitch will be uploaded eventually to YouTube, probably the next day or the next couple days after. So I'm going to have a bunch of more information coming out on that. Of course, I do want to say that I'm going to be streaming today. Today's July 1st, actually, but I'm going to be streaming at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. There's going to be a countdown on the description below. You guys can click on that and basically set your timers. But um, I'm going to be doing a lot of portfolio reviews. I'm going to be doing it for about two hours, and then the stream's going to be uploaded the next day or the next day after. So, you know, a couple days max, I'm going to be doing, I have to edit it, and then, of course, add some background music because I can't stream with music, of course. Um, that's basically all I have to say. Enjoy, like, you know, the stream that I'm going to be showing you guys right now. It's a very long thing, but if you guys are getting into logo design, you guys can see basically how I do trial and error things, how I try different things, and basically what happens. If you guys have any um, questions, you know, video ideas, make sure to drop a comment below. Below. and I hope to see you guys in the stream later on I hope to see you guys you know everywhere else just make sure you click on the twitch.tv link in the description below and turn my alerts on so you guys know what I'm gonna be streaming and stuff like that other than that I'll see you guys in a couple videos after this and it's been Garrett peace out that's what I'm thinking Your domain is left designing because of school. I don't know. I want to start again. Thanks, man. But yes, designing is mad fun. You know, if you don't have time for it, then there's really nothing you can do about it. But overall, designing is mad fun. So I'm actually gonna save this as a logo, like a preset logo, because that doesn't look half bad. I'm gonna leave that right there. I love making AVIs. AVIs really isn't like the thing to get into just because, um, like out of respect, I don't wanna like make you feel bad, but it's just like something that won't get you anywhere. If that makes sense. I used to love to. Yeah, designing like AVIs is like fun and all, but it won't get you where you need to be, if that makes sense. Alright. 
I'm trying to figure out where I have these lines going. I'm looking at my, I'm looking like down at my sketch and looking back up just to see where I have lines taken away. So that's gone. That's gone. Um, I think this bar stays. Yeah, this bar stays, and this goes down. This bar gets taken out. that out as well all right so here's this is what you do you literally just this is how you make logos just keep doing different shapes all right so I'm gonna need to zoom in now make a new layer what up helix what's up everyone I would be playing music right now as well, but I'm going to be uploading the stream to my channel later. So if I was to add music, it would just, it'd be a whole copyright issue. What up, Jonesy's? It took five minutes. <laughs> Dude, I'm, it, lo, like, people don't understand that logos don't take a long time. Like, yeah, it takes a long time to get the idea down, but let's be honest. How long does it really take to the design? Where are my challengers at? Alright, there's this. should have kept these because I lost all the angles I used but Photoshop or Illustrator is very forgiving with this kind of stuff so for that and then we have one cut going sideways I'm actually gonna zoom out really quick I'm gonna have to take a copy of this Did you just use a pen tool? Nah, I just use shapes. You guys can see me use more, but uh, by that, the rectangle tool is most of what I use. Just play some music that's not in copyright music channel. Well, what's gonna happen is after this is over and I'm done, I'm gonna overlay my own music onto it. So like, I don't wanna have double the music playing. So whoever's watching this is gonna get like a headache just from like a bunch of different genres playing. If that makes sense. Just to save the headache. I hope this is the right size. I'm zoom in for this. Oh no. Yo, is anyone gonna get this this grid thing off my screen? I have to Google it again. I've done it so many times. Control Shift I. All right, how do I do this? View perspective grid hide grid. View perspective grid. There it is, hide grid. 
I clicked that thing so many times by accident. You have no idea. And I, I just like, I get so frustrated. I usually just like close Illustrator and open it back up. You just suck it up after then. I don't know. You guys think the cut, like the little G cut looks good? Or you think I should keep it? Actually, I'm gonna keep it like the A. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this like the A. Just because I don't think it looks that good. Yeah, that's, that's much better. If you make an il illustrator in general tutorial, I'm gonna make a lot of tutorials in a little bit. I just gotta like get back in the flow of things. Um, how do I open? I have a whole tutorial on this. Um, it's called the pers or it's called the uh, something tool, shape builder tool. I have like a whole tutorial on how to use it. So I would definitely go check that out. Answer all your questions about it. Bam! Make a new layer. And this is where I'm gonna use the pen tool, just because it's a lot easier. So, for people in the chat, you guys watch any like Netflix shows? Cause like, Netflix has taken off a lot of their like good shows. So I'm just curious like what you guys watch. I'm watching like Bates Motel right now. It's actually not the half bad. And then lastly, there should be a cut here. Yeah, Netflix is like, I don't know. Netflix used to be good, and now, lately, it's been really slacking. I don't know, that could just be me. I could just have a bad taste in shows, but like, Netflix really doesn't have anything good anymore. What do you guys think? Watching Blind Spawn the Black. Oh, the Black was actually mad good. The Hundreds was pretty good. I never watched Riverdale. I did watch the hundred, so that was pretty good. The blacklist was really nice too. I would definitely recommend the blacklist to anybody that needs a show to watch. A logo. Alright, so I'm gonna start this off with a question for you guys. And, uh, just like, a, it's just kind of like a broad question. It says, which one is your favorite? Because... If you guys weren't in here earlier, I did say that these are for clients. The other ones I'm gonna sell, the ones that he doesn't like, I'm gonna sell, except for the ones that look like each other. Then I'm, I'm not gonna sell them. But uh, is there any ones you guys like specifically like? I know I keep doing stuff so you guys can't really get a good look at them, but. Just out of curiosity. You guys like any of the certain ones? The fourth one? Yeah, the fourth one was my favorite. I think I like the, the third one too. I think the third one's pretty clean. I'm watching um the last one. Alright, so everyone's liking the last one. I'm just gonna write it down. I'm putting it in red or something. Alright. So I'm gonna save this copy to my desktop. Axis. If you guys knew Axis is, this is who I'm making it for. Um, it's really gonna be for him. So I'm pretty hyped about it. It's gonna be pretty sick. It looks so be like the last one. All right, good. And close that tab. Open a new one. All right. 
So I gotta go to my tweet deck again. And the next one we're gonna be designing is more of like a modern, like professional one. I'm gonna have to take a picture of both of them because I'm gonna do both. You know, you guys even just saw, like, it doesn't take mad long to do some things. That that looks pretty good. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm going to leave them up for you guys while I, uh, I get my pictures going. Just so you guys can see what's going on. So you guys do like the last one. This one might be a cool V logo, maybe? Like, flipping upside down? That could really work out, too. Like, let's just say we take this. Um, object, transform, reflect, flip horizontally, and let's just say we take an ellipse tool and grab, I'm almost going to grab this color. Like, Right here is going to be a really cool example. Like, bam. Oh, that's going to be an issue. Alright, so you guys get the point. It'll be a cool V logo. If you guys see that on my story, you probably know where it came from. Alright, here's going to be the next batch of A logos we're going to have to make. And these are just two, um, they're very clean professional ones. Made out of um, rectangles and circles. So I'm gonna have to lock this layer, new layer, and then we're gonna get going. So I don't really need to match any size except for these three. The big ones, just the big ones. So oh, I'm gonna go about this thick. I'm gonna mess with the thickness just a little bit. That's 315. Let's go 300. No. 304 maybe? Yeah, it looks a little nicer. Alright, let's go back to my chat. So, this is about what I'm going to work with. A little, a little wider. And then, to make the shapes, I'm going to need a floor. Yeah, the circles only thing is gonna have to be the same. Um, only a little bit. Nah, it's probably a good size. It's lit on here. <laughs> yeah. these add up if you guys have any questions like be feel free to ask because like I don't want you guys to just sit here while I just make a bunch of logos like I know like some of you guys like find this very interesting to watch but If you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. That is not what I wanted. Alright, I'll show you guys really quickly how magic's made after I just take one of these and put it over here. Got the shape. We're just gonna take this and highlight here. Hide that. And there are some little things we're gonna have to fix, like this little curve right here.
Perfection is key with these kind of things. Um, the black. Scrub pen tool. All right. Make a leg in easy one, two, three motion, Ernie. I could zoom in for this, but. This is the fun part. Like you can put all these like shapes together and stuff like that. Like that's cool. But like taking like the logos apart is like really fun. And then you got the leg. So there's leg number one. <laughs> this is all. That is all Photoshop, really, my man. All right. All the guys are talking. I like how clean it is, and I like how the little touches brush it out together. Thank you. Explain how you get to use the Jesus shape builder tool. Um. The shape builder tool, it's basically like taking like the circle right here and then I'll grab another color circle. Jesus. All right, so let's just say we put two circles into each other. And so what you wanna do is highlight both these shapes and then grab the shape builder tool right here. And then if you click it and hold alt, it's gonna be like a checkerboard around everything. You can just basically click on it and it'll go away. So that's basically what the shape builder tool is really used for. When is the next top five coming out? Probably in like a couple weeks after I get everything going. How do you go about shading Illustrator? Um, That's really about FOIA. He was right, it's about Photoshop. That's really not like an Illustrator job. Like people can do it in Illustrator of course, but if you are gonna put like a lot of shading on, I would definitely recommend using Um, Photoshop. I'm not gonna make this that thick though. I'm an idiot. Take that away. Copy, paste. Illustrator is really used for like more of like line weights and stuff like that. More of like the professional stuff. Alright, I need to cut these out. This is gonna give me a headache if I don't do it now. Alright, so all you have to do is zoom in. I know I'm not talking a lot, but it's really hard to uh, get these like really tight lines done. I have to like hold my breath when I use my mouse to do this. There you go. My hand hurts. Do you have a snap to pixel option on? I don't. I don't, but I'd rather do it myself. How, how do you come up with the logos or ideas? Um, You guys can see my webcam, right? So I don't look crazy doing this. Everyone type in the chat, you can see my webcam, right? There's one page. There's two pages. There's three pages. And there's four pages. They're all logos. So you guys can see that it's not like I come up with like two ideas and like I'm done that there's there's a lot more to it and like everyone thinks that like logos are like quick and easy super slight to make but what did I no that's in the right spot I'm gonna cut the right side out first. So I can fix the left side.
Do I look a little awkward? Right? Yeah, maybe I have to make that bigger. Might be just going whack right now. I might be doing this twice over for no reason. Very big chance, but better safe than sorry. This looks weird, right? It looks like a humps out. What the hell? Alright, one sec. No, that's a hundred percent straight. <laughs> so use a pen or pencil. I use the pencil to draw them and then pen to do it. Um, updated setup. I might. You guys want to see that? Is it look weird? Yo, Donnie. Yo, come over here really quickly. Okay. Yeah. Does this look warped? Or is that just my eyes? Um, it might be an optical illusion. What the fuck? <laughs> it, it looks warped, right? Yeah. But it's not warped. No, it's not what the hell? I think it's because... This curve is going in, so you're assuming it's going in, but it's actually going out. Uh, yeah, no, so I'm bugging out or looking at it. How did I draw it? It's because of the inside curve, dude. You streaming? Yeah, I am. I drew it and it made sense in my dr drawing, too. Same result. You're seeing the bulge right here. Yeah. Although, it's not there. That is freaky. Make the line thicker right here. No, it's not. It's not that. It's maybe I have the curve. Yeah, I have the curve a little higher. The curve starts like up here. There we go, no more bulge. Alright, bulge is gone, you guys, no one's eyes are bugging out like mine. I wasn't, I thought I was going crazy, I updated setup. I think my setup's the same as from last time. Except I used my, moved my computer around, I got a new table. I have a fridge, I saw, no, I saw the fridge, fridge is from last time. Nothing's really new, I'll make one before I go to college. Maybe that's what you guys want to see. Much better, yeah, see? It's going fucking crazy looking at that. Alright. So, as a logo designer, highlight, paste. <clears throat> I'm gonna fix that later on. And last but not least.
There you go. So you got some logo variations. good all right which one do you guys like so out of these three i think i like the first one i gotta i obviously have to fix the tails and stuff like that this little extra i don't know what to call this right here oh it's a part of it that's weird yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna have to clean up those sides all right so like if i cleaned them up which one do you guys like the most out of these bottom three i think the first one that's what i'm saying what do you guys think? Everyone else? First. Snatchy donated 250. Said, could you review that? I'll give you a review really quick, man. The first one. All right, I'm just gonna put a little arrow. That's enough. That was a that was a clean arrow for using my mouse. Last for me. We got two, three. All right, so we got three first, one last. Yo, yo stream, you guys wanna see something? I haven't seen it yet, it's about to be hype. All right, I'm gonna review your portfolio, man. But this is about to be hype real quick. Oh my God, I, I fucking hate Mediafire. This is gonna be the first time anyone's gonna see this, even me, if I could download it. Oh, I've downloaded it twice, I'm an idiot. Oh, there's a map, all right, here's one. That's one signature. Here's a preview on one. And here's the second one. I just pixelate it. So, I think I'm gonna use this one. It's gonna be more of like a professional thing, just to use. I wanna see if he has the AI though. That's basically gonna be my little lettering logo. It's gonna, I'm gonna be using for a little bit. Who made that? Um, Kev did. Really good. All right, so his portfolio, he just donated. If you guys want your portfolio to be um, like reviewed, you guys can always donate and I'll do it. It's gonna be on my YouTube channel. You guys can go watch it back. So this is Snatchy. Um, that's all, he didn't give me his full name or anything like that. I'm gonna close my door really quickly though. So Snatchy gave me this, and I haven't I haven't looked at social media in forever. Sheesh. Um, the first thing I do want to say is when you're pushing this into a portfolio, make sure that if you're gonna have everything just a Twitter header, you want to keep it that way. You don't want to add like the border around one and then keep it like the rest. But um, overall, it seems like you have a good understanding. It's just I think font choice, um, style-wise, um, you're basically using like very slashy fonts with um more of like playful and like calm things and definitely like you need to maybe try out some more cc's um exposure contrast i'm um, messing around with those kind of things just because it's going to help you know a whole lot with the other pieces um colors stuff like that you know same thing right here for advertise it looks like you gotta start adding like shadows more of an atmosphere so like, you gotta put shadows on here um you no know, lighting sources you don't just want to add things and uh you know don't overlay things in the background like that just because it's going to take away so you can see right here like instead of having here if i open up photoshop for you and i said open by accident this is it's going to make sense when i show it to you guys Let's make that um so hopefully you're watching right now and I'm not gonna make myself look like an idiot doing this My computer's lagging around I have a really good computer but like I'm telling you, when I stream and try to do stuff what the I've never seen that screen all right so so this is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it really quickly 
So for like this, you have everything like toned down a lot. And instead of that, you, what you should have tried to do is like take your eyedrop tool and uh, just try to match these colors the best you can. Just because when you do this, right? Here's our lag. What up, Nex? All right, I'm gonna, let me close these really quickly. But yeah, it's gonna make sense when I show it to you because like it's like something that you have to like see to understand. I can't just like sit here and like explain it to you. All right, so let's just say I'm gonna just not recreate it, but I'm gonna basically show you what I'm talking about. So you want to try to match those colors and create like a nice gradient and then have like the background that satin color. And so, get this going. And then let's just say you take the black and then create like the difference with that. All right, Valid did donate a dollar and said would appreciate if you read my portfolio. All right, man, I'm gonna put that in the uh, in my like my little to do thing. I just feel like like I sometimes I do portfolio reviews and like sometimes I just want to stream other things. So like you know I'm okay with doing like portfolio reviews all the time, but if I'm like trying to stream other things, I need to get money somehow. All right, but like you can like create like like something like this. You can just see that like it just like has like a visual better like presence to it. Of course, you can add lighting around a uh, big net, so you can take a brush. So, now you can go like this, however you want to do it. Grab your lighting. Um, of course, I'd recommend using brushes or pre-made lighting, but for like just the atmosphere you can see that using those saturated colors can make it look so much like neater so that's what i just want to talk about like with those kind of advertisements but um you know it's basically the same thing for logos um very clean but i would put these in a different category like signatures and for twitch layouts and overlays these are also branded pretty nicely so i'm gonna give you a good on that one so valley is next i'm gonna go and just try to clean up some logos so you guys did say the first one i'm just gonna go ahead and make my last logo and then i'll do your portfolio if anybody else wants their um their portfolio review you guys can always donate and then um just link it in the chat or link it in the, um, the donation it could be uh, any amount of money uh, there's that. All this money is basically gonna go to me and food and movies. Gotta bring the ladies out to the movies. All right, the, la oh, the last one's a big pain in the ass. Damn it, I knew you'd like the last one. All right, luckily enough, I don't have to do too much with this just because I already did it. This is what it is. This is more of like a uh, more professional one. So. There we go. So I need to make this curve outwards and under.
I'm just gonna test this out first and see how it looks. Ask it taken out. Oh, don't do that to me now. <laughs> Come on. Why won't let me delete anything? What am I deleting? Is my control button broken? Oh. <laughs> well, that was, that was a fucking shocker. Oh, there we go. Oh, is it hitting control now? Alt? You guys ever do that? Put in the wrong coordinates. What phone do you have? iPhone 6s Plus? I think. Yeah. Yeah, iPhone 6s Plus. That sounds... Sounds like the phone I would use. I don't know, I want, I don't know about you guys, you guys have seen the Google Pixel phone? That phone looks banger. I don't know what I am doing right now. I am making this a lot harder than it has to be. <laughs> Not what I want either. <sighs> Fuck. Nah, I was, I was doing it right. I was doing it correct the first way. However, I got the AIs for that. Maybe I'll mess around with that a little bit. So. It's over. How do you transfer it into your computer? Dropbox over. He sends it. Him. Yeah. Um. It's over. You think it's overrated? I don't know. I think that phone looks a little banger. I think it looks cool. I, I don't know about using it every day, but I think it looks cool. Looks can be deceiving, though. They learned that in high school, don't you know? I was like a low-key roast to like every girl I talked to in high school. JK. I'm an idiot. Everyone can tweet it out. At Bear Designs, a fucking idiot. Let's just do this to see what we're what we're cooking with. Oh, that's mad close. A little bit bigger. All right, I'm just gonna cut it out just to see what it looks like. That, that of course is going to cut out. There we 
as I take the lazy route out of everything. Don't need perfect shapes when you can pencil your way through it. Am I right? Alright. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be liking this one. Looks like a peacock. I can see this being used as like a peacock logo. Nah, I'm not even gonna finish this. I'm, I'm just gonna know it's not gonna look good in the final result. So I'm just gonna put it in here. I, I can like tell just by like the way it's, it's made, it's not gonna look good. You could pencil it actually. It's, I know it's just it's not gonna look good. Hey Barry, you make some awesome stuff. You have inspired me to start making stuff like banners instead of just art. Soon enough, I'll start charging. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. Thank you for the kind words. It really means a lot. Out of all of them, which ones do you guys like? Anyone like any specific ones? I like the other ones before that one. Yeah, I don't. It was just I, it was the one I didn't think he would choose. I really thought if any of them he was gonna choose, I'm gonna find it. It was gonna be the one of my fingers on. Oh, that one. Or it was gonna be the last one I drew. So that one. I thought those were gonna be the ones he was gonna choose, not the ones he did. But I don't know. All right, so the Valley did did pay. He did send a donation and didn't link his portfolio, so I'm gonna check him out. So he has movie posters. Oh, thank God. So with the movie posters, Deadpool. Um, the first thing I do want to say is the splash on his arms and like his shoulders, his head with the water is actually a really good effect. I would just try to add like more distinct water droplets, and uh, the gradient overlay you have on this this really kills like the whole quality. Like his suit is looking more of like a purplish red. And uh, you should really like tone the gradient down and tone like the CCUs down just to have like that red suit, and uh, maybe up like the exposure and contrast just to make things pop. Just because that gradient really just takes away from everything. For your Twitch designs, um, very really straightforward. This is actually pretty nice. I do like these a lot. They're very clean, and a uh, very good style for like Twitch people. They really like these um colorful styles. I have like, a really good um inner glows. For your photo manipulations, I think it's the same thing as the gradients you're using. Just kind of kill it and uh, worrying about pixelation around areas and using high quality images. You know, you can see that you have pixelations around here, um, white strokes around things. So you really need to worry about getting that stuff done. But um, creating more of a light source, making like this area a lot more darker and having this lamp light up an area could really help. And then um, if the light's coming like this, it would be like coming off here and then only leaving a shadow of the building so that's just something to look out for i can see that you use a lot of different things though inside of this and for your advertisements um same thing this is actually pretty neat i think this is pretty cool but um i think it's the same thing with the gradients that you're using it's really like killing and taking away and you can even see right here that it's so much pixelation on through everything that uh you really lose quality with your images and then also when you're putting these into your portfolio i'd recommend putting them into different things like a different showcase just because when you're um, putting it into something like this that you really lose the um like the all effect that people have to click on it to look at it because like zoomed in it looks really really like pixelated but zoomed out it doesn't so that's something to look out for and then for your social media um very clean very professional I think these these are probably the best like this one's really nice same thing with this so you have a really good like, idea I do remember that one yeah, so you have a good idea like the inner glows, like nice quality. So you have a good job with this kind of stuff, but when you're doing like the other more professional work, just I'd really worry about um like what you're using on top of it and like where everything's coming from. But over that, everything else is doing pretty nice, man. So I think I am gonna use this one. I think that's probably the most clean. I'm gonna send that to him. Um, for now, I think that's gonna be it. I just want to do that logo for him. This whole thing's gonna be uploaded to my YouTube, so you guys can go check it out on my YouTube. It's www.youtube.com slash Um, Of course, you guys probably know who I am by now. Uh, 
you guys have gave me some crazy, you know, support throughout my channel, so it really means a lot. If you guys missed anything with the stream in the beginning where I started making the, the top logos, you guys can really see um, how I did it with my rectangles. Um, a lot of people were confused when they came in here on if I pen tooled it or not. So definitely, you know, you guys can watch it on YouTube. So that's also going to have for today's stream. If you guys do like the stream, let me know in the comment section of the YouTube video. And then hit me up on, like, Twitter and stuff like that. But that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for joining the stream and then everything like that. And I'll basically see you guys later on. Peace out, homies.